let's learn how to use On One No Noise AI to batch process a group of images. With this screen, I can either drag a folder or a file onto this area here to open it up and start modifying those images or that image, or I can choose Open Photos here, and I can navigate to a folder with a set of images. Let's just go in here, I'll use my computer's navigator to find a set of images. I'll select those images, we'll choose open. And we can see it's opened up this series of images here and we have the same previewing of the no noise as we did when we were working with a singular photo. But we have this film strip view here at the bottom. The film strip view here is just showing us all of the images that we brought into On One No Noise AI. So with this photo here of this flying bird, let's just go in here to the details. Let's make a few modifications to the details. I'm actually just going to pull up on the luminance quite a bit. I should just pull it up all the way. Let's pull up on the enhanced detail quite a bit, just to bring a little bit more detail into this area on the right. Looks pretty good just like that. Let's just pull this slider back and forth to check things out. And it's doing a really great job here of modifying that noise in the photo. So let's just apply these settings to lock the details pane in and make sure these settings are applied. And what I want to do now is just apply these settings to this series of images at the bottom. So the series of images is already selected here. So with those photographs selected, I'm going to choose sync. And now I have this apply settings dialog. Now, if I were to have cropped or leveled or retouched this photo in any way, I could choose to apply those settings as well. But I'm just going to choose this no noise AI section here to make sure that the details over here are applied to these other photos. So let's just choose apply. And you can see now these images have this little badge here at the bottom right. And that's just saying that no noise AI has gone in and it's modified the noise reduction in these photographs. So let's check out this photo here. And we can see that no noise is working here to remove all of the noise in this image as well. So the photos look great. Let's just export these images. I'm going to head down here to done. Once I choose done, this will pull up the export dialog. With this group of photographs here, I'm actually going to use this preset to the left, this DNG to same folder. And I'll just select that to make sure it's enabled. And with this, I'm going to go in here to the naming. I'm going to enable this naming option. And I'm going to go in here and I'm actually going to remove this token, this folder name token. And I'll just type in birds, oops, wildlife. So now it will say birds, wildlife, no noise. And then I'm actually going to click, click here and I'm going to choose add token. And I'm just going to choose sequence number right there. So it will be a sequence of images that start with one. So that looks perfect just like that. It looks like I have the same folder as original, the DNG file type. And you know what, let's actually choose to have a TIFF sent to the same folder as well. So let's just make sure that's enabled right there and everything is good to go with that. We may need to modify the naming, so let's modify the naming for this preset. I'm gonna go in here and change that naming again to Oops, two birds, wildlife. Same thing, we'll add a token, sequence number, just like that. So if you want to save this naming that you've created as a preset, you can just head up here to below the naming section. It has this presets menu, just select that, choose save new preset, and we'll just name this birds, wildlife. So now we can go back and choose that whenever we're exporting a group of images that deals with that same subject. So everything looks gravy so far. All we need to do now is just head down here to export and it's going to export this group of images at the bottom here into that folder with those settings that we chose in that export dialog. And we can see here in the same folder that we were working in, we have all of those different file types with the same export options that we had chosen.